This is a typical <coughs> Croto question which resembles the current JE advance pattern. Now you will see if you see the questions of JE advance, not even the current, even the previous, if you see last 10, 15 years, there are few hidden things in the question which are not revealed, which you have to discover. When you read the question, you have to discover those hidden things and then start attempting. And your thought process, your approach for solving that question will totally depend whether you are able to correctly decipher and discover the hidden things which are there in the question. So this crude of question is a typical question where there are a lot of hidden things which are not revealed in the questions. Normally in the normal textbooks, we have questions which is self-contained. Everything is mentioned there. So it easy it makes our path easy it smoothens our thinking process it gives a direction to our thought process and we are able to approach the problem and solve the problem so by solving the non normal textbook questions don't think if you are able to solve all it's good but it doesn't mean that you will be able to solve similar kind of thing in a exam where the complete set of information is not revealed but you are expected to discover that so that is a game changer so like in Croto, you have this question where like the, I'll be telling you a few things about the question. Solving the question is a different matter. I'll, uh, the solution is already there in my another video. Here what I want to mention through this question is I want to convey how to read the question carefully and then immediately try to discover things. It is very easy for me to say but it is not so easy when you do it yourself. Especially for young minds like yours. Uh, not with so much of experience just trying to understand the concepts and then if you come across a question where your thinking process and the approach is also tested I think it's a bit, a bit too much but that is how it is so we have to be prepared for that now here if you read the question carefully question is 3.39 my advice is that pause the video read the question very 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 carefully and then think about what is the thought process in the question and what should be your approach for for attacking the question for solving the question so pause read the question otherwise this lecture is useless if you don't read the question so read 3.39 of Krotov carefully and try to see what it says hope you have read the question by pausing the video now coming back to the concept now if you see the question it uses the word equilibrium there is a key here in the question so word equilibrium is there and wherever word equilibrium is there, there you have to apply, apply the forces formula. Like let me give you an example. If there is a spring mass system and the question is two situations, this is the unstretched length. If I release it from this position of unstretched length, release it, I don't say, I don't use the word equilibrium. I release it, it will straight away go to a position where you have to equate the energy and delta uh, like in the equilibrium position k delta is mg but here the delta will be twice mg upon k and if you apply the, apply the equilibrium approach here your answer will be wrong because here when it, when it doesn't use so the hint is that when it doesn't use the word equilibrium and there is a motion involved there is quite likely it is quite likely that we have to use the energy approach not necessarily but just helping you in the thought process but if it says very clearly it is move it moves in equilibrium so equilibrium word means that you have to use the concept of forces so here in this question what it says is that this is a capacitor which has distance d there is a volt battery voltage is not given anyway there is a key and there is a spring, spring constant is not given, see nothing is given, only this D is given, even this V is not given, area is nothing is given. So another thing that the answer will not have this information, will, be not, will not be coming in your answer. So it's a hint that these things are not material because they will all get cancelled. Whatever is not given, it means it is getting cancelled. Now it says that we charge the, we cap there are two approaches, one is that we connect the key and it moves in equilibrium position to a new position. So another thing in equilibrium will be motion will be slow. Slow word is not mentioned here but in many Erodov questions you will find slow 
and equilibrium will involve slow motion so in such cases the velocity has to be taken as zero the velocity has to be taken as zero because there at no point of time this was accelerated because it was always in the equilibrium position so energy method is ruled out here you have to apply the forces method so wherever it will reach suppose delta 1 is the position it has shifted wherever it has reached at that position the spring force which is k delta 1 will be equal to force between the plates now for force between the plates i hope you know that force between the plates you have to take half of the electric field between the plates multiplied by charge of one of the plates because the electric field total electric field inside the plate is electric field due to plate 1 and plus due to plate 2 both happen to be equal it is given explained in hc verma very nicely so the formula for the force between the plates is equal to q square upon twice a epsilon naught and i would advise you that keep this formula in your mind as a as a permanent memory because this formula will be subset of many questions now when you are so, uh, another i'll be slightly digressing but i just want to uh, tell you the approach now when you have advanced question there is a fundamental principle which is required to solve that question there you will not be able to apply any standard formula but while solving the fundamental aspect of the problem you will need number of other information and that information could be in form of assumption could be in form of principles could be in form of concept and could also be in the form of the formulas so there you have to use the formula and then at that point of time you should not be deriving those basic simple formulas which can be subset of solving a larger problem now here for solving this problem you need this simple formula if i start deriving this also for solving this problem i'll be just consuming more time so some people say that don't memorize the formula some basic fundamental formulas have to be memorized but when you solve the advanced question it cannot be solved by those formulas but then those formulas can be subset of solving that question now this is the force so here k delta 1 will be equal to q square upon twice a epsilon not now q here which you put in the situation 1 will be equal to the charging is such that whatever is the final position it, it is moving in equilibrium every time it is in equilibrium so the charge here will depend final charge will be the final capacitor into the voltage so the final capacitor here is epsilon not a upon d minus delta 1 so at every point of time if it is less than delta 1 so a general equation if i write q at any point of time will be epsilon not a d minus x because this question can be further modified in terms of time and all so will be if any point of time the motion is x and for that point of time k x would be equal to q that time square by twice a epsilon not and finally it will settle where the forces are balanced and we put this ruler's result for the final position and we can solve that equation now coming to the next situation so this is one aspect for situation 1 this kind of derivation you have to do and then we have to use both the derivation so this part will be there and value of q here will be this value let me put the value of q also so it will be k into delta 1 is equal to epsilon not square a square uh, and there is no dielectric so it is d minus x whole square upon twice d a epsilon not and it was multiplied by v also v also so multiplied by it is v square so that is one equation if some parameter is missing just correct it because i am not going into those aspects i am discussing the larger aspects here in the process you will understand the concept of the question also now coming to the, sec the second set of situation where it says that key is closed for such a short time that the capacitor plates don't start moving so it is saying that the capacitor plates start moving after the capacitor is charged so here the capacitor is charged and the plates are moving everything is happening simultaneously there the first the capacitor is charged so here the ch here the charge was the final charge which is the equilibrium charge and in the second situation the charge which is acquired by the plate when the capacitor was initial value and here the charge which is acquired by the plate where capacitor is the final value that is the difference and why i am writing this here it's okay because it is consuming time but here i say that t is almost zero but then can i write this q is equal to we know 
q0 1 minus e raised to the power minus t upon tau. Now suppose tau is also 0. What I write q is equal to q0 1 minus e raised to the power minus t upon tau is 0. It is minus infinity means it is 1 upon e raised to the power infinity means it is tending to 0. So, q is q0 at for a situation where tau is 0 here there is no resistance and tau is rc. So, tau is effectively 0 in this situation I, it does not happen there is always a resistance tau cannot be 0, but tau will be so small here in that because in that fraction of time when the key is closed the capacitor attains the full value which it can attain at that value of capacitance and that value of voltage. So, you have a situation where the capacitor and then you remove the battery. So, this is the charge which remains on the plates of the capacitor and plates again will be moving slowly and finally, the plates will be at a position where now the force between the plates will depend on this charge which is this Q which is C i square V square upon this Q, uh, Q square upon twice A epsilon naught is the force which is equal to K delta 2 and you put the value of C i take the ratio of the two equations and you will get the value of I think they have asked the value of D here they have given delta 1 which is 0.1 D on the basis of that they have asked the value of D and I think our answer will be coming by this approach is 0.08 uh, one. No, no, they have asked sorry, they have asked the value of not the D, but what is the value of the uh, shifting of the plate in the second situation. So, it will be if this in the second situation the shifting is Z, it will be 0 0.081 times D. That is the shifting of the plate and the initial situation the shifting of the plate they have given as 0 0.9. Shifting of plate is 0 0.1 D. And in the second situation, the shifting of the plate is 0 0.081 D. So, that is the approach. The basic idea was try to read the hidden concepts in the question.